The Book of Amos, Chapter 7 Thus has the Lord God shewed unto me, and behold, he formed grasshoppers in the beginning of the shooting up of the latter growth, and lo, it was the latter growth after the king's mowings. And it came up to pass that when they had made an end of eating the grass of the land, then I said, O Lord God, forgive, I beseech thee, by whom shall Jacob arise, for he is small. The Lord repented for this, it shall not be, says the Lord. Thus has the Lord God shewed unto me, and behold, the Lord God called to contend by fire, and it devoured the great deep, and did eat up a part. Then said I, O Lord God, cease, I beseech thee, by whom shall Jacob arise, for he is small. The Lord repented for this, this also shall not be, says the Lord God. Thus he shewed me, and behold, the Lord stood upon a wall made by plumb line, with a plumb line in his hand. And the Lord said unto me, Amos, what seest thou? And I said, A plumb line. Then said the Lord, Behold, I will set a plumb line in the midst of my people Israel. I will not again pass by them any more. And the high places of Isaac shall be desolate, and the sanctuaries of Israel shall be laid waste, and I will rise against the house of Jeroboam with the sword. Then Amaziah the priest of Bethel sent to Jeroboam king of Israel, saying, Amos has conspired against thee in the midst of the house of Israel. The land is not able to bear all his words. For thus Amos said, Jeroboam shall die by the sword, and Israel shall surely be led captive out of their own land. Also Amaziah said unto Amos, O thou seer, go, flee thee away into the land of Judah, and there eat bread and prophesy there. But prophesy not again any more at Bethel, for it is the king's chapel, and it is the king's court. Then answered, Am then answered Amos, and said to Amaziah, I was no prophet, neither was I a prophet's son, but I was a herdman, a gatherer of sycamore fruit, and the Lord took me as I followed the flock, and the Lord said unto me, Go, prophesy unto my people Israel. Now therefore hear thou the word of the Lord. Thou says, Prophesy not against Israel, and drop not thy word against the house of Isaac. Therefore thus says the Lord, Thy wife shall be a harlot in the city, and thy sons and thy daughters shall fall by the sword, and thy land shall be divided by the line, and thou shalt die in polluted land. And Israel shall surely go into captivity forth of his land. Chapter 8 Thus says the Lord God shewed unto me, and behold, a basket of summer fruit. And he said, Amos, what see thou? And I said, A basket of summer fruit. Then said the Lord unto me, The end is come upon my people of Israel. I will not again pass by them any more. And the songs of the temple shall be howlings in that day, says the Lord God. There shall be many dead bodies in every place. They shall cast them forth with silence. Hear this, O ye that swallow up the needy, even to make the poor of the land to fail, saying, When will the new moon be gone, that we may sell corn, and the Sabbath, that we may set forth wheat, making the ephath small and the shekel great, and falsifying the balances of by deceit, that we may buy the poor for silver and the needy for a pair of shoes, Yes, and sell the refuge of the wheat. The Lord has sworn by the excellency of Jacob. Surely I will never forget any of their works. Shall not the land trouble for this, and every one that mourns dwell therein? And it shall rise up holy as a flood, and it shall be cast out and drowned as by the flood of Egypt. And it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord God, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, and will hearken unto the earth in the clear day. And I will turn your feasts unto the morning, and all your sons into lamentation. And I will bring up sackcloth upon all the loins, and baldness upon every head. And I will make it as the morning of an only son, and the end thereof as a bitter day. Behold, the days come, says the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the hand, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst of water, but, O oh, hearing, the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from north even to east, <laughs> and they shall run, <laughs> and they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. In that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. They that swear by the sin of Samaria and say, Thy God, O Dan, liveth, 
and the manner of Beersheba liveth, even they shall fall and never rise up again. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you with all my heart. In your loving name I pray. Amen.